We are back with a Fox News alert and a big one. Republicans are calling for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo to be removed from office after the New York Post reports one of his aides admitted to covering up data on nursing home deaths. According to the Associated Press, 15,000 nursing home patients have died from COVID in New York State. That is up from 8,500 previously reported. The secretary to the governor, Melissa DeRosa, made the comments about higher totals during a video call with state Democrats while trying to explain why the actual numbers were withheld. Fox News senior meteorologist Janice Dean lost both of her in-laws to the pandemic last year. She joins us now to react. Janice, there have been a few bombshells hitting Cuomo on this recently. Is this the most damning? This is the most damning because someone admitted it and someone reported it and it looks like they covered it up the whole time. And the fact that they had a closed door meeting with Democratic lawmakers to apologize to them instead of the people who don't have their loved ones today is just icing on the cake. How emotional was this when you heard this news, Janice? Uh, yes, emotional. I didn't think I could be more surprised than a couple of weeks ago with the AG's report here in New York, where she went ahead and investigated uh, the governor herself into the nursing home numbers, which we all knew were undercounted. Uh, we, they were reporting over 6,000 for many months, and now we're up to 15,000. Another part of that bombshell is it's were put into nursing homes. And they tried to dismiss that and say that wasn't the cause of all of the elderly that we lost in nursing homes in the spring. So the fact that they have admitted this and listen, my hat's off to the leaker, the Democratic lawmaker was in who was in that meeting and decided to bring it to the New York Post, who have been doing heroic work, by the way. Not a lot of news media have been covering this story, which is why I'm so vocal. Um, Yes, today is a first step into justice for my in-laws. Janice, to that point that you made earlier, what does it tell you about the people involved that their instinct in terms of an apology was to the Democratic lawmakers who could be potentially hurt by this revelation when there are people who will never see family members ever again, yet they're worried about some state senator in Elmira? Look at this governor's track record, his leadership book, his Emmy Award, protect only himself and his administration. And never, we never got an apology or any remorse from this governor. And I believe he should be in jail. I was just going to say, what do you think should happen? Yeah, I think a lot of people probably feel that way. Court of law, full investigation, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and jail time. Well, all right, Janice Dean, we're going to be following it. Thank you, Janice. Thank you.